Hello everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to Ships 2017. We're going to be continuing our playthrough and we're going to be switching over to a different ship, if you will. Today, uh, we finished up on the world ship in the last episode, so let's go ahead and click continue and go in here. Um, the next ship, I think, is the, I want to say DCV Builder, which is weird, but yep, DCV Builder, uh, it's a special vessel able to do unique underwater operations. Let's go ahead and buy that. We're going to head to the shipyard, and we're probably going to have to repair some components here. Uh, first and foremost, tanks. We're going to replace those tanks. And we've got... So, this is kind of, to be honest, I wish there was a little bit more to doing this. Um, potentially, maybe even the ability to go through and do some of the repair process. But this is kind of just the menu... Um, menu work of like going through and repairing all these processes if you watch the first episode of this game you have to do this to spruce your ship up well or make it you know ready for operation what are we missing here we are missing a bridge mast i guess and let's just i don't know the difference here i just repair i do the more expensive one feel it'll be better i don't think it has any probably uh yeah i don't think it has any effect on the game in the end but they look better repaired too i guess right fresh paint fresh paint's always better right <laughs> uh builder ah uh, i'm sorry all right crane arm end let's repair that too i'm assuming we're going to use this guy to do some underwater operations and now we have new missions available since now the dcv builder is done being repaired let's go ahead Look at this thing, massive. All right, let's head out there. Your mission is to replace damaged parts on an oil rig. All right, see how this goes. This is gonna be the third tutorial mission of Ships 2017. To steer it, you use this joystick or wasad keys. When you move joystick knob, ship moves in direction you pulled the knob. Okay, and then we can rotate using Q or E. But can I just literally like Ooh, cool. I said I could use my literally. Oh, this is a weird feeling. How do I rotate you to the left again? Can I just do that right now? So, oh, this is so odd. It's like being in a tank, but in the water. <laughs> that makes any sense. So, we gotta attach highlighted helipad parts to specified place. We gotta get over here and work on this ship. This is so odd, though. What is this string about, though? Anybody know what the string is about? Don't know what the string is about. But, we're gonna do our job here. Uh, this thing is slow. Not gonna lie. Don't know what this does. Oh, that goes into the operations mode of the cranes. Don't want to be in that yet. Nope. Do not want to be in that mode yet. <laughs> kind of. Oh, uh, God. I don't know what way I want to be facing either. You know, I've got two cranes, but that doesn't mean that I want. I don't know, you know? Yeah. Let's just get up to the ship. ECV Builder Special Ship 2016. I don't even know. Special Crane 1, Special Crane 2. Classic. Get up to the ship. Come on. This thing is uh, it's pretty slow. Oh, that's right. I have time. I have the ability to be a Time Lord. Why would I not use it? And I just do not want to crash right into the ship. That would probably be smart. So we are pretty much at the at the ship. This pretty thing pretty much stops on a dime. Because it's a giant nothing, you know? Okay. So if we put the front of our ship right up there, what do we gotta do here? What do I want to do with this? I do not know. Match highlighted heli parts, helipad parts to spe specified place. We're going to switch into this mode, probably. We can use our big crane. Okay. We want to do that. 
And then we can... Ooh, okay. All right, how do we make you go out? That's definitely a thing that we need to do. Or is that as far out as it can go? And I need to be, yes, I believe I do. Is that rotating anything? Eh. Okay, there's that. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to be, uh, yeah, my ship is definitely in a poor, uh, poor placement. Should have definitely put, parked it up alongside. Not like the idiot that I am, I parked it the way I did. So, let's go ahead and attempt to turn you. I don't know how this works. Turn. Turn. All right, we are turning. Ever so slowly. I can use E, essentially, to turn here. To rotate. You know, right above. Right above Wub... Wubbada. Wubbada. Right above Wubbada. Right above WASD. Oh, God. Oh, God. Continue to rotate, please. Continue to rotate. I will get you right here. All right, this will be a lot better. I hope I don't need to use that crane, and if I do, we'll deal with that then. But for now, whoa, that was weird. That was so strange. Okay. I don't know if they have any collision stuff put out for that, but now we can switch over to the crane. And we can actually grab this stuff. Uh, I think. Uh, how do I bring you in? Uh, shut down. That's... Yep, that's just down as well. This is, uh, very, very odd. It's a logistical... You know... Like, I should, in the least... Whoops. Sorry about that. I should, in the least, be able to... <laughs> you know, no big deal. Just moving the entire ship to grab something with this one crane. <laughs> oh, shoot. Mm, perfect. Okay, we're gonna lock these up. Now, where are we moving you to? All right. Oh man, this seems dangerous in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. Okay, so we can put you kind of out that far, but then Oh, I can even rotate. That's cool. But now I'm kind of at the whim of I feel like I'm going to hit something with this damn crane. I totally am. I'm going to hit that if I don't. This is a logistical nightmare. We're going to pull you up, essentially. Oh, God, I can't see. Am I going to hit that? Uh, I totally hit that. <sighs> oh, that was a horrible noise. No big deal. No big deal. Let's just have you go out now. And... See, you would think logically, though. And I could get that farther out, but I can't. I can essentially move an entire ship. That doesn't logically make any sense. Maybe I should use the smaller crane. Maybe the smaller crane has some ability to do some things a little bit different. Because this just doesn't... This seems counterintuitive. This seems very counterintuitive. Like, is there a track on... You know what I mean? I don't know. This is how you do it. Oh, oh God, that's not comfortable in any way. Why can I not switch back to, uh, oh, 
This is exactly how they wanted to, want you to do it. Just doesn't seem right. That's all I've got to say about it. It just does not seem right. Okay. All right. And the ship is moving again. We're moving the entire ship. And uh, that's, again, the logic that I guess that I'm going with here. And this wobble effect, though, on this is going to make me puke. Perfect. Go ahead. Go down. Perfect. Like a glove. All right, let's see. Yeah. Be driving the ship around. Driving. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Piloting, driving. Okay, so now we're going to actually need to use this here. Uh, whoops. Let me do that. And then we're going to just line that up here. I'm going to do all the lining up you know, with that. And then uh, the logical decision here, we get back into our ship and then we just slide it into position. Again, I don't think this is right, but this is working and uh, it is uh, it is what it is, you know? I feel like I'm definitely gonna hit that tower. No, I'm not. You gotta be careful, careful, careful. I'm gonna definitely hit, oh, there we go. Perfect. We are super, super builders in this game. We are just, we know what we're doing. Uh, we definitely don't use the crane and, and, you know, put it in a fixed position and drive the ship around. Uh, we definitely know what we're doing and we were clearly very, very logical about what we do. Um, and we're clearly, clearly incompetent. Uh, super incompetent. That is going to cl not clear that. So let's go ahead and bring you up. Bring that up and over because I don't trust that that would clear that for some, you know, odd reason. Oh, uh, inverted controls. Okay. feel like I can get that with the crane. Oh, God, this camera, though. Am I going to clear? Oh, no. Oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, the, um, the, the, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do I need to say more? The logic in this game is um, some of the best. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. People are going to hate on me and say that it's me or something, but I don't know. I want to see somebody play this game and not lose their mind in the process. Like I said, though, it's, it's not bad for what it is. It's just there's a lot of things that aren't logical, at least to me. Um, and things that I feel like it could be improved upon. So we'll see. Where am I taking you? Okay. Yeah, okay. I can do that. This camera, though, is the worst. Yeah, this camera view. I hate this camera view so much. But it's the one I'm using and the one that I can't tell if I'm going to hit anything or anything. See, this? That, that was actually logical. That movement of, like, moving those pieces there was... I felt like the most logical... Use of the crane and what have you. <laughs> Maybe I was just using the crane completely incorrectly the entire time. Same mechanic from the from the first mission where we moved the cargo containers around. So that was the first mission in um, the DCV Builder. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. And if you did, please like and subscribe for more of these ships videos. Um, and if you're enjoying this game at all, uh, link is in the description. If you want to pick it up on Steam, like I said, you know, you can come along with me for the ride and see the game for what it is. Um, I've even included the gameplay of like one of the, the people management things, which I didn't greatly enjoy. And I thought was like one of the low points. The benefits of this game are that, you know, it's, it's easy to look at as well as to it's conceptually there. Uh, is it perfect? No, but I'll give it credit for what it is at this current stage. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.